Hey, what's up, photographer Ronnie from Moon Photography, and welcome to yet another tutorial on this channel. And this time around, this is not going to be a skin retouching tutorial, this is a skin tone color grading tutorial in Photoshop. And as you can see, I took this image at around it was around 3 to 4 pm, and I used the Godox AD600 BM with a waste spot highlighted dust down below the model to eliminate the shadow right below her chin and as you can see i already did a skin retouching for this image so you can see uh this is the image before and this is the after before after and if i told you love to learn about skin retouching i'm going to put the link right above here and i want to show you guys how i color graded this image from uh, this right here to this from this to this you can see what i did basically and i want to show you guys how i went uh about that so i'm going to deactivate this so that i can show you guys from uh the start to the finish for my skin tone color grading in photoshop i'm sorry if at all i'm being too fast i'm just going to reduce on the speed for this tutorial so that everyone can learn and understand skin tone color grading in photoshop so i showed this image and initially it was a warm in image so you're going to try to go in for that kind of a moody melanin kind of look for this portrait and i was also going to learn about how to whiten the eyes and fixing the makeup somehow for uh, the lipstick because when you're color grading most of the times uh, the makeup or lipstick gets messed up so i'm going to show you guys how to go about that so let's kick in and start uh doing the skin tone color grading so uh for this show you're going to use only I uh, mostly the black and white adjustment layers and I'm also going to go into camera row and redo the eye whitening and do more of the color grading for this very image so let's uh, kick in and start come and create a black and white adjustment layer and come to the blending option and uh, click on multiply so when you click on multiply your, your image is going to uh, become so dark so in order to reduce on the effect just come to the opacity and turn down the opacity so i'm going to go with the, uh, the opacity of around around let's let's go in for around 50 then come back to the black and white adjustments create another black and white adjustment layer but this time around we are going to uh reduce on the opacity of that because we want to desaturate this image even more so you can come around and play around with these sliders you can see what it does so you can uh, add more luminous to uh, the yellows like that then you can around uh, as well come to the reds and just pump them up a little bit i think this is uh, fine so we are going to come and create another black and white adjustment layer like this uh, come to the black and white and still we are going to come the blending of mouth fly so we are going to reduce on this effect because it is too much for our lighting like that just come and drop down the opacity so we're going to go with an opacity of around four percent for this image so you can see the image already looks nice and if at all you're comfortable with this look you can remain here but this is not what you're going in for so you're going to create a stamp visible layer by clicking uh, shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard shift alternate ctrl e on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer and you're going to duplicate that layer by clicking ctrl or command j on the keyboard so come to filter and come to camera filter like that so it will open so uh in this step i'm going to show you guys how we are going to further color grade this image so come to the hsl panel and uh under this you're going to play around with uh, the reds in this image so first of all we are going to come and we play around with uh the hues so we're going to take the hues all the way up around 40 and now we're going to come the saturation and we're going to turn it all the way down because we want to get rid of uh, the reds 
are in this image which are all negative 40 then uh, let's play around with the yellows too and we see what it gives us so this is what uh, the yellows will give us so I'll, I won't I'll leave it at that and let's see what the orange is I think we are going to only play around with the reds for this image so you can see now the image what the image looks like so right now we are going to uh, do the eye whitening for this model remember now we have lost out on the lipstick but i'm going to show you guys how to fix that in a bit so let's first of all learn about the amazing eye whitening technique i, I use for all my images so come to the adjustment brush or you can just click key on the keyboard that's the shortcut for the adju adjustment brush then uh make sure the temperature is uh towards the co the cold side or the cold side because we are going to be removing the warm tones from uh, the eye of the model or the white part of the eye make sure the tint is at 71 and the highlights are 2 the white is at 4 and remember we are removing color from the white area of the eye so make sure it is around negative 74 so those are the settings so every time you're going to do your eye whitening and you have put these settings in your adjustment brush you won't have to redo this every now and then so this is like uh, an added advantage of using the adjustment brush because you put the settings once and you always have your settings uh, in your adjustment brush camera row option so come and only paint over the white area of the eye because when you paint over the skin it's going to desaturate the skin like you can see right here so wouldn't want that to happen so just come and only paint over the white area of uh, the eye like that you can see what uh, it is doing to this image so make sure you don't paint over this because it is going to create an unnatural look uh, in the eyes of our model because we are going in for that natural look in the eye so so this is what the image has turned out to look like right now so just come and now click ok like that and uh, we are waiting for the effect to be uh, done so uh, this is the image so in order to regain back the lipstick for the model remember we are going to be using the mask so come and first of all make sure the top most layer is selected and click shift Hold down shift and click on the lower most layer and click ctrl or command g to group them so we're going to name this color grade so this is the before and the after before after you can see what we have done so far for this image so we are going to kind of uh, regain uh, the lipstick color for our model and in order to do that we are going to make sure the group is selected and click on this uh, add layer mask icon or oh, it looks like a camera to me so just click on it so we are going to be painting using a black brush on a white mask so make sure white uh, black is on top so you can just toggle by clicking X on the keyboard to get black on top or you can reset and get back these colors by clicking right here so make sure black is on top and get your brush so for the opacity we are going to go in for an opacity of around 50 percent like that so we are going to only paint over the lip area uh, of our model so let's uh, regain back uh, the color of the lipstick in this very very step so just paint over like that to regain back uh, the color or the lipstick color for our beautiful model right here like that so reduce on the brush size by using uh, the brackets on the keyboard just paint over like that you can see we are now uh, getting back or gaining uh, 
the original color of uh, the lipstick of our model like that so in this way you won't have to uh, mess up most of uh, the makeup of the model or the makeup done by the makeup artist so i think this is fine and beautiful so let's zoom out and see what we have done so as the before after before after so initially there is so no much difference and if at all you feel this is too much for your liking just come and drop down uh, the opacity uh, to the one of uh, your liking so and for uh, the greens I would like to play around with the greens for this image so come to selective color and come to the green channel and uh, we are going to play around with this because then also come to the magentas and uh, turn the, it down I don't know what look we are trying to go in for that's why I'm just playing around with the green so let me see if I turn up with the suns I think I should leave it right there so I think we are done uh, with the color grading for this image and uh, we would like to warm it up a little bit so I'm going to double click right here and we are going to come to the red channels and now we are going to add a little bit of uh, yellows to uh, our model like that around two can do for this very image so uh, let's see all we have done for the color grading for this image so far so this is our image before after before after you can see what we have done and i think we have done a, a beautiful job for color grading this image so if at all love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to hit the notifications bell when you do subscribe i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in it another retouching tutorial on this channel and stay safe